56 for Jeff. Okay. Oh, hi, Dad. Yeah, I know I've been playing for way too long, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, my apologies. I actually went back into this pathway in order to show off the other pathway. Unlike last time, this time I do have my map with me for this place. And I found out there's actually another item we need to get on the split pathway before the final boss of this place. So I'm quickly going back there in order to pick it up. <laughs> Thank you for attacking Jeff. You should be doing that more often. <laughs> so, let's get you out of here. There's some unfinished business I need to take care of before beginning the episode. <laughs> Remember this place? There was actually also a ladder going up here. Eventually also leads to the boss, but still. There's an item on the pathway, and there's also a lot of fobbies on the pathway. <laughs> However, only two of them actually engage. <laughs> also interesting. Let's make sure Ness and Paula actually stay alive. So let's use healing with Ness and Pooh, and the rest can attack normally. Cover, life up, Paula. Alto can finish the rest. Let's see if we can actually avoid the rest of these guys. <laughs> Here we actually find another present. This one containing a cup of life noodles. So far didn't need one, but still always nice to have. This magic butterfly we can always use, of course. That's never a problem. And then this pathway actually leads to another present. And this one is a luxury jerky. Just some healing. So we can actually ditch some other healing item. Like... Um, a bottle of water for instance. So we can heal some PP. And carry around something that can heal our HP. Oh, thank you. Apparently there was a green swirl. <laughs> nice job, Jeff. <laughs> Pooh levels up to 54. Get another increase in PP. Something the guy can use. And with that we have returned. Come on. <laughs> Keep going down accidentally. <laughs> and with that we have returned to the boss of this location. Your sanctuary number 7. But first some lackeys in the way that we need to take care of. Let's do this quickly. We already know these guys. Nothing too important about them. Oh, and that one's a little bit more painful. <laughs> uh, let's use a cup of live noodles on Pooh. Not going to be in time to actually heal him, so... Let's revive him that way. Yeah, Pooh goes down, but not for long, hopefully. <laughs> I've inputted a cup of live noodles, so he's going to get up again. Oh, we got flashed, so we're going to start crying now. At least everybody except for Ness. So let's use magic. Normal attacks won't work anymore. We should be one attack away from killing him. Yeah, that's more than enough. Okay, this guy was pretty annoying. <laughs> I thought it was going to be easy. Apparently not. So, let's go take care of the seventh boss in this game. The second to last. Only one more Your Sanctuary after this. And we will have to complete Melody. So, allow me to say... Hello everyone, Trix here, and welcome to part 36 of Earthbound. We are in your Sanctuary Cave, number 7. And we are going to learn the Melody of this place. First, we need to take care of the boss. Now all of the errands are out of the way. Including healing ourselves, we are full HP again. Let's go, take this guy on. You finally got here. This is the seventh Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. And don't worry, you only have to hear that dialogue one more time. 
The next weirdo we are going to defeat is the Electro Spectre. And this guy is a heavy magic user, so be careful for him. And speaking of magic, he also carries around the shield before the battle even begins. So I would suggest using the neutralizer on him first. Because otherwise you won't be able to do a whole lot against him. <laughs> neutralizer, effects of PSI are gone. Yes, I was going to do it on everybody else, but we are not protected by any shields, so... <laughs> going to suck our HP. Well, luckily it didn't do it on everyone. So, now we can start using magic. And we're going to use gamma magic on him for the first time. And with Paula, I can even use an omega attack, of course, so let's do that with her. <laughs> Jeff has the heavy bazooka as his strongest weapon. And Pooh can use... Um, yeah, let's use a star storm. We don't use that too often, so... <laughs> Ooh, thank you for the solidify. Bam. Here comes the star storm. Not enough. We got PSI gaming gamma. Bam. <laughs> that definitely hurt him. Let's try that again as long as we have the PP for it. PK freeze. Omega. Heavy bazooka. And that rhymes. <laughs> and PK star storm. No way he's going to survive this turn. Heavy damage. More heavy damage. <laughs> More heavy damage. And the final one. Maybe take him out. 341. No. Man, he's really strong. And he's stupid enough to attack the person with the Franklin badge. <laughs> okay, this guy's really tough. Ness is out of PP, but Paula is not, so... Let's do it like this. And Pooh also still has some, so... Let's switch the PK Freeze with him. Yeah, there we go. As you can see, if you don't use heavy magic on him, this guy can be quite tough. He does have a lot of HP. But we also have a lot of magic. <laughs> Level 63 for Ness. Level 60 for Paula. Jeff. Come on, Paula. Stop getting more stats. <laughs> and even a new attack. PK Shield Omega. And here's Jeff finally, level 57. Also a lot of increase. Pooh, level 55. And he also learns a new attack. PK Thunder Omega. But the most important thing is the boss is gone. And we are finally allowed to bring our soundstone to the next magical location here on Earth. Let's go see what we have now. This looks interesting. Glow in the dark wall. <laughs> this is a really weird place. And trust me, it's going to get even weirder the moment we actually find the location. Which is right over here. Hmm, beautiful wall. I am Treeks. Huh? It has been a long road getting here. Soon I'll be... Soon I'll be... Soon I'll be... What will happen to us? What's happening? My thoughts are being written out on the wall. Yeah, looks like it. Or are they? Well, that's one way to read someone's mind. <laughs> Interesting, a wall that can read someone's minds and actually puts them on the wall. <laughs> Luckily, Ness wasn't thinking any weird things <laughs> in front of his friends. But still, your sanctuary number seven. Treeks saw a vision of his father holding him. Treeks' soundstone recorded the melody of Lumine Hall. Awesome. At least Ness knows how his father looks, it looks like. <laughs> because we don't. However, we actually find a hole in this location. Apparently it goes on even further. 
And it's a very long drop by the sounds of it. <laughs> okay. Now where the hell are we? And why are we so tiny on the screen? <laughs> well, there's dinosaurs running around here. Very big ones. At least assuming they are big because we are really small now. <laughs> Let's go check this guy out. The museum in uh, Force I did talk about dinosaurs in a special location. I think we might have found them. A wetnosaur. Okay. Let's see if this guy's dangerous. Oh, my PSI got healed because of the um, your sanctuary location, so should be able to take this guy on full strength again. Okay, this guy can solidify apparently. <laughs> Let's just repeat the last turn. This guy is too strong to take out in one turn. But we can in two turns. Okay. Uh, only 8,000 experience. Not a whole lot for this point in the game. <laughs> These guys are not worth it, it seems like. But still, we need to find out where we are. Where in the blazes are we? One thing of note in this place, sometimes you will find these holes. These are actually geysers. As you can see, sometimes they will actually burst out. And either a blue or red water stream will actually pop out. And if you're on them the moment they do, you can actually heal either your HP or your PP. So remember these things, they're actually uh, healing geysers, you might say. But let's go explore this place even more. Looks like to be some primal world, because all of the um, trees and everything look very... Ancient, and there's also dinosaurs running around here, so <laughs> this looks like a very ancient part of the world where we've actually gotten ourselves to. There's also presents here, they also look a lot tinier than they normally do, of course, <laughs> but they're still presents. And this one contains brain food lunch, so that's for Poo in case he needs it. Should be the only thing here, so let's return. To the center, and let's start exploring east. There's a sign here. In case of danger, evacuate here. The boss. Oh, it seems like this is a place out of here. There's also a phone there, so you can actually call Tracy, or you can actually call your dad to save. But there's also a way to transport back out to the normal world again. <laughs> we are not stuck in here. Good to know. Next present is over here. Let's go see if this one is important. I know of a couple ones that are, but not all of them are. Yeah, this one definitely is. Sea pendant. Next, very strong pendant. Very good weapon that actually also protects against PK fire, just like a couple of other ones also do. This one also protects against PK freeze, I'm pretty sure, but that's an attack you rarely see on enemies, so... <laughs> The fire resistance is definitely the best thing about this. We've already found lots of enemies that use PK fire at this point in the game, so... Yeah, the sea pendant is stronger than the flame pendant, so it's worth actually equipping that on Paula. You can always give the flame pendant to someone else. Might as well, actually. Rock candy, useless item... Let's give the lucky coin to Ness for now. So we can actually give this pendant to Jeff. Because, as you might have noticed in the last couple of battles, Ness and Paula are protected against fire attacks, but Jeff and Pooh are not, so... Oh, um... Yeah, it's on body, of course. Flame pendant increases his um, defense. And also increases his resistance against fire. And we have to give it to Jeff because we can't give it to Pooh, as you may know. <laughs> and yeah, the lucky coin does not increase the defense, so don't have to equip that. Equipment management done, let's continue. We have three party members that are resistant against fire now, that's a good thing. We've been finding more and more enemies that actually use that, fire attacks, so... Yes, it is not going to stop at this point in the game. <laughs> Enemies are not suddenly going to stop using magic. 
Yeah, there we are. And this one is a guts pill. Okay. Guts. 45, 32, 31, 18. <laughs> a lot lower than the rest, so it's pretty obvious who we're going to give that to. To Pooh. So the guts is now 19. Still not a lot, but still. <laughs> Every little bit helps. Ooh, what do we have here? They're very tiny, just like us, because of the zoomed out camera. <laughs> But there are definitely tendas here. Apparently they don't just live above the ground. Also here, in this weird area. And this one is a red stream, as you can see. That can also happen. There seems to be a fenced off tenda village in here. Interesting. And the fence is definitely necessary because of the giant dinosaurs living here. <laughs> These guys are smart. Oh. You guys smell really good. <laughs> Who am I? I'm a Tenda. Hey, what are you doing inside of our dinosaur cage? Inside? I'm going to open the door and get out of there right now. I'm the boss, so I will let you out. Thank you for the Tenda Crot. <laughs> Trix's telecrot was stolen. <laughs> the awful smell surrounding the group is now gone. Apparently the telecrot smelled awful. <laughs> but these guys seem to like it. And it's our ticket in here. Otherwise you're not allowed in here it seems. Now let's go see what these guys are up to. Thank you for coming all the way into this primitive country. You must be tired. To stay I'll run you at $400. And apparently you are in a hotel. <laughs> so let's heal because we're not full health. We have way too much money, we can spare $400. Let's go read the sign in here. Don't feed the dinosaurs in the cage. The boss. Well, they have a weird definition of inside a cage. <laughs> we are the same tanda as those above ground. We seem different? Yeah, uh, you know, the tanda up there are shy and don't like to talk. Well, they used to be shy. <laughs> oh, there's another geyser erupting. That's not important for us. Let's play store. My friend Ego loves this game. So, hi, may I help you? Yeah, sure. As primitive and weird as this place may be, it still has a store. Ultimate bet. It's officially weaker than the Casey bet, but still worth getting, I feel. The holy fry pan is definitely a better weapon for Paula, so that's also a thing to buy. Let's make some room first. Because apparently we want to buy things indeed. Lucky coin is not stronger than the one I'm currently having, so might as well ditch it. And of course we have some more equipment that is useless by now. The big leak bet is going to be useless, the Casey bet is going to get replaced anyway, so... More does Nas have. And back with Dragonite, I'm not the biggest fan of using that. Paula, what do you have? Um, Rust Promoter Deluxe. And that makes enough room. Ness and Paula can actually carry a new item. And that's all we need. Ultimate Bat. Even though it's officially weaker than the Casey Bat, it's much more reliable since we don't have to worry about chance anymore. <laughs> It was fun playing around with the Casey bet, but now we are going to return to reliability. However, for Paula, that does not apply. For her, the Holy Fry Pen is just a stronger weapon. <laughs> so, let's increase our stats by 20 and get rid of the French Fry Pen for $900. And as you might have noticed, there's also a new type of coin, which we can equip on other. The Shiny Coin, which is stronger than the current equipment for Ness, it looks like, so might as well give that to him. 20 point increase again. And the weaker charm coin we can immediately sell. No, that is it. You can also buy horns of life here. As you might have noticed for the shop in Tenda Village. The one above ground. <laughs> but that is an aspect I don't like to cover. So we are going to move on. After healing up and increasing our equipment in this village. We are ready to take on more dinosaurs in this mysterious and weird place. 
There's a cave over there, so let's go check that one out first. Here we are. Okay, uh, weird music. Weird place. <laughs> Remember this area for later. We are going to find this place later on. This is the first indication of it. However, we cannot access it from here. We can just take a look at it. <laughs> the final location the hieroglyph actually mentioned. And that is where we are. And sanctuary location number 8 is our prey. However, I see a new type of dinosaur, so allow me. This guy is called a Chompasaur. And it's basically just a really big lizard. <laughs> so let's go use Freeze on him. Should be weak against that. And Pooh, you can do that too. Yeah, 380 damage. Oh, he has a power shield. <laughs> Did not know that. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, don't use any physical attacks on him. <laughs> that would have been nice to know sooner. So, we're only going to use magic on you. It looks like this lizard's scales are way too big. <laughs> PK freeze still works. There he goes. Thank you, Heavy Bazooka. 11,000 experience. Not enough for a level up. Let's continue. Here's another one, but don't really feel like fighting some more. <laughs> These guys are pretty annoying after all. Let's go pick up this present over here. Cloak of Kings. And the fact that the name Kings is actually in this should already say enough about this item. It is equipment for Pooh. However, his inventory is full. Let's eat some rice. Let's go give the cloak to Pooh. And let's equip the cloak on Pooh. One more item he still needs, only a weapon. But when it comes to his defense, he's done. <laughs> All three of his defensive equipment items are accounted for. We only need to find his weapon, which we will find later. Also not going to take very long anymore. Here's another geyser. Let's go see if we can actually use it this time around. Yeah, thank you. He's going to burst. <laughs> and it's a blue one. The hot spring energizes you completely. And with energizing it means... Full health. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. But besides that, there's also a rest area here, as you can see. In case you get in trouble, this is a way out of here to return to the Tenda village above. However, we are not going to do that. We are going to enter this cave right over here. We have arrived at your sanctuary number eight. The end of the game is coming near, people. <laughs> See you folks next time when we take on this hardest dungeon in the game yet. Treeks out.